What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on Electric Talks. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. One of you guys are seeing this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys more of my life. Hopefully you guys are ready for it and uh, hopefully you guys like these types of videos. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you guys wanna see more. If you guys didn't get a chance to watch the last not the video that I just posted or the video before that. Uh, two videos ago, I talked about how uh, 2021 has kind of been a rough, rough year for me as far as my physical fitness goes and just kind of getting my body back to normal. I have been feeling so much better lately. I've been hitting a lot of PRs and a lot of those PRs have mainly just been on Strava and uh, my Instagram, I've talked about them. If you guys don't follow me there, they're all linked down below. So a few weeks ago, I actually hit my all time mile PR, which is six minutes and 26. And I did a bike ride before I tried to do that as well. So today I'm gonna be trying to to go for a, another PR. I, I really like my all time goal is to try to to get below six minutes. Like I've never, I never even, I never even could fathom running a, a mile in the six minute region anyways. So I'm I'm really stoked to, to try to get a mile time under six minutes. So that's gonna be on the agenda today. And then I'm just gonna show you guys the rest of the week. Yeah, I hope you guys are ready for another Electric Talks vlog and let's get into the video. Game time. Flat number two. Well, I guess today just wasn't my day. I have a gigantic hole in my tire. Uh, oh well. I'm gonna go home, get my running shoes on, and get to my run. All right, so the mile time that I'm going to be trying to beat is a 6.26. I'm gonna do a mile warm up and then go straight into it. Uh, after that, I'm probably gonna cruise, put some distance in, and uh, cool down. So, let's get started. All right, so the warm up is complete. Now, it's time to go for that mile PR. Everyone, this is where you execute. Let's move. Everyone, I'm pretty sure he just broke the six minute mark. Five minutes and 53 seconds. Oh, oh, I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. Woo, that right there. It's awesome. That was nuts. For the record, I just want to clarify. I don't eat fast food very often outside of my food challenges. In fact, I very rarely eat fast food outside of my challenges, but I just want to say that if you're gonna get fast food and you're gonna get a burger, get In-N-Out. But if you go to In-N-Out and you get something, make sure, I'm gonna give you guys an order right here. Get your fries well done or extra crispy, like so, and get yourself a double double, no spread. You get it with caramelized onions. Everybody, it is legendary. I'm just gonna say that right now, okay? Literally legendary. Legendary. Hot, but you're gonna folks. 
you cannot go wrong with in and out uh, in case you guys didn't know these are like my in case you guys didn't know this is like my my meal to have after really hard and long training sessions cool it always hits the spot Alrighty, folks. So it is the day after my my run yesterday. That was definitely surprising. I was not expecting to to beat my my all time by like 30 entire seconds. So I'm super pumped about that. It's really hard because every single time I just surpass a goal of mine, I always want to tell you guys exactly what's going through my head when I do all of those things. But by the time I'm done with a, whether it's a super long bike ride or super long run, I'm so tired and exhausted, obviously. It was really weird and I'm not sure if you guys have ever gotten like this before where you, you do something and it's extremely challenging to yourself and it's, something that's really really hard on you whether it's physical or mental you accomplish whatever you just accomplished it's like i never have gotten emotional before and i've never really gotten uh, you know choked up after something like that I, I never never really show emotion like that at least and that that's been happening a lot more lately for me and it just reinforces to me whenever i do something like I did yesterday, how how much I really love all of this and how much and like why I do all of this. And I don't know, it's just something that I wanted to mention to you guys in, in, in the sense that like, you know, if you, you do something like that, don't be don't be afraid to give yourself a pat on the back and show some emotion and just be like, you know what, I I just did that. You know, I just accomplished that. Uh, today it's raining out in San Diego, so I'm going to be hopping on the trainer over here. And if you guys don't recall, I did an FTP test a few weeks ago and ended up getting 277 for 20 minutes, 277 watts for 20, 20 minutes, which basically gave me a 263 watt FTP. So I'm gonna re re retest that today. We'll see how it goes. If you guys don't know about FTP tests, they're very, very intense. So who knows what's gonna happen? Let's do it. All right, folks, if you're not familiar with FTP tests, measuring essentially what it's doing is measuring your power output for a particular amount of time so with this FTP test I have to warm up for about five minutes and then I start doing some more intense warm-ups and then I go into the actual 20 minute FTP test yesterday I was able to run a sub six minute mile so today let's see if I can hold 285 do I want to do 285 ideally I'd love to be able to hold 300 watts for 20 minutes but I'm just gonna say, let's do 287 watts for 20 minutes, that's the goal. I probably shouldn't be doing this after the mile yesterday, but go up. 15 minutes of warm-ups are done. All right, warm-ups are officially done. We're starting in 15 seconds. If you guys ever do these on your own, make sure you find a really good playlist. You're gonna need it. This is what you execute. Alright guys, so we're halfway in. This is where you get it. So everyone, I held 300 watts for 20 minutes. Last time I checked this, last time I did this test, 
I hauled 277 watts uh, and my previous FTP was 263 and my new FTP is 285. So given the fact that it was literally like two weeks ago, uh, there's a lot of variables that go into it, but I definitely think that it's just because I feel so much better energy wise and I've just been, I've been prioritizing a lot of things in my life and I just feel so much better on the bike and just in general. So just to, to, to improve 23 watts, uh, given that I did that 17 mile run yesterday and the 40 mile bike ride, I'm, uh, I'm just really, I'm really happy with, with the results that I got. Now I'm gonna hop back on Zwift and do uh, another course and uh, then I'm gonna hit the gym. All right, you guys, so the gyms are open. I'm actually outside of the gym right now and I'm really, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> so uh, this will be my first like actual lifting session in probably like five months. I know a lot of you have been asking me when I'm planning on getting back into lifting and what my lifting is gonna look like and all of that. Powerlifting is not going to be a thing for me right now, but uh, whether you're a powerlifter or you're an endurance athlete or you're a um, competitive uh, wood builder, if that's even a thing, you should be strength training. Uh, I'm gonna be going back on a push-pull legs uh, split. I'm more than likely gonna be lifting three to four times per week, keeping things pretty simple. And this is gonna be a, a push day. I might throw some biceps in because I definitely need to, I need to work on my arms. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get back into the gym and we'll see how this goes. Alrighty, well that went way better than expected. I think it's because I went in there with like zero expectations. And I, I knew coming back after five months of not doing any serious weightlifting, I was gonna lose a lot of strength. And yes, I lost a lot of strength. I'm sure you guys watching this video, if you guys are into lifting weights and with how the past 12 to 14 months have gone, 15 months, now nah, 14 months, have gone for all of us, we've all kind of dealt with not being in the gym and not lifting weights. And lifting weights has always been an escape for me. And it's been a way for me to channel a lot of positive uh, energy. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm more amped about the fact that I can go and do it now, you know? It's not even about the, the amount of weight that I'm lifting. It's just the fact that I'm back in the gym, which is really, really awesome. And now it's time to get on with the rest of the video. All right, folks, so I'm back home from the gym and I do these every so often, but I, I feel like I wanted to do another one just because pretty much the most common question is like, what do you normally eat? Both like on my social media and on YouTube, people ask me that. So I like to do these grocery hauls every so often. So I'm gonna show you guys a semi-typical grocery haul and yeah. And then I'm gonna attempt to make a pizza, like a legit pizza, flour, pepperoni, cheese, all that goodness. So before I get, before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys this. So a staple in my diet is cereal. Just kidding, it's not, it used to be a big staple, but it's not so much anymore, but I do, I do love cereal. I love golden grains, so I decided to get some golden grains. I uh, got some waffle fries because waffle fries are amazing. I've been doing this mountain high yogurt right here. This is just low fat yogurt, pretty decent source of protein. Some pepperoni right there to go with our pizza. Actually, just gonna put that over there. Cheese, I've actually started eating cheese. I know, I've been a big hater. If you guys have followed my channel for a while, you guys know I haven't been, like I've never really truly enjoyed cheese, but I'm, I'm enjoying it more. Pizza sauce to go with our, our pizza tonight. I got some Halo Top because Christy and I do have like a few tablespoons of this on occasion. Some reduced fat mayo, almond butter. That's usually Christy, Christy likes almond butter. Um, I got some yeast and some spices to go for my pizza. And then you guys can probably see this over here, rice cakes. I've always said rice cakes, I would say like carb wise, rice is, it's actually probably the biggest source of actual carbohydrates for me, both actual rice and rice cakes. I probably go through like a, an entire thing of this plus half of a, another sleeve. The, the reason for that is because rice is super easily digestible 
both for me and for a lot of other people. So I really, really like it. And I take my digestion very, very, very seriously. If you guys, hopefully you guys can understand why. Um, I also got some lettuce, romaine lettuce and some shredded lettuce. I'm going through a little bit of a, an experiment, if you want to call it that. I've been a huge, huge, huge veggie guy for a long, long time, like well over 10 years. It's the main reason why my stomach capacity is, is as big as it is. Um, and it's some, it's caused some issues for me. I'm, I'm not gonna go into detail in this video, but if you guys want a uh, want me to detail it in the next vlog, I would definitely pull for you guys. Um, I got some brown bread. This is actually Cheesecake Factory bread. They've started stocking it in stores. Thank you, thank you for that Cheesecake Factory. These are rice crackers right here, which are delicious. Basically, I make like lettuce salad and I, I throw some either tortilla, tortilla strips or I throw some wonton strips on top, so I got some of those. And then arguably the most important part of this grocery haul right here, the uh, Modern Times uh, Hazy Galaxy IPA right here. I have not truly understood beer until uh, the, the last like year. I've never really drank beer and I've never really enjoyed beer until like a year ago. So uh, I've, I don't, I, I probably drink a beer like once a week, maybe, maybe twice a week, um, just to kind of unwind when I cook in the kitchen and do all my other stuff. So yeah, there, there's a lot of people out there that will just be like, avoid all of that, avoid that, avoid this, avoid that, avoid this. But as long as you are fitting this all into a well-rounded diet, as I've said so many times before, and you're active and you're consuming enough micronutrients in your diet, you should be just fine if you have a beer or some fries and, or some cereal, whatever it is. Uh, now that that's out of the way, I think I'm gonna try to make a pizza. Ladies and gentlemen, just take a gander at that, everybody. That is a pizza, ladies and gentlemen. This is my first pizza right here. I'm so excited about this. I probably shouldn't be because I kind of messed a few things up, but whatever. Can't be perfect. The real test is obviously taste. I should be a pizza. I should open up my own pizza restaurant. Right, I don't know why I'm so excited about my, my first official pizza slice. I mean, like, so obviously, the crust is thick enough for sure. Now, let's see if we got the taste. Ladies and gentlemen, I made my first pizza. Like this is my first legit pizza ever. Did you buy the pizza dough? Homemade, whew! I can't believe I did it. I've been making, I've been trying to make pizza for years and I've never actually, I've never actually been able to make it. Well, no, it's because yeast is really hard to work with. Every single time I try to make pizza, I always end up, the water's too hot, so it kills the yeast. Ha mm -hmm. ha. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so it is Sunday and I'm actually gonna be going for my long run of the week. Now, it's actually been, I think about two-ish weeks since I've done a longer run and usually longer runs last a little bit longer than two hours and they usually get into the three hour mark. So I'm gonna be going out, doing that and actually just seeing how much distance I can cover in, a, in that two plus hour range. So today I'm gonna try to go for three hours. It is, like 83 degrees outside, 80, actually I think it's like 85, so I'm probably going to be sweating a lot. All right, 
So I'm about three miles into this run. One of the most important things I always tell people if you're trying to increase distance is to make sure that your runs are getting progressively longer, but also as much as you can try to keep your heart rate as low as possible. Now, if you're somebody that lives in a hotter climate, that can be a bit more challenging. So if that means dropping your pace down a little bit, then do it. Runs like these ones, you know, when I go for longer distances, I don't bring music with me. I usually don't bring music with me. I just like to use this time to kind of listen to my thoughts, think about what I got going on for the next week, just kind of relax. And uh, not every single run has to be super intense and just crazy. You gotta also enjoy this. And that's why I love these. Five point one miles complete. That's what I'm talking about. Taco. So I've been buying carne asada lately, and usually I do my own marinade, but I was lazy tonight, and I decided to make. I decided to buy a pre-marinated one. But um, yeah, carne asada is amazing. So I'm gonna make some tacos. It's gonna be delicious. All right, so you guys may be a little surprised right now because this taco meat, this carne asada is black, but I'm not surprised because that is, it's exactly the way I like eating my tacos, charred. Even though you messed up my shot, how oh, it tastes. Really good. I think it's all right. It's fire. Next, I'm gonna attempt homemade shrimp tacos. So Christy just made some some carrot cake on Christy versus Kitchen, and she wants me to try carrot cake. I'm a huge hater when it comes to carrot cake, and I think carrot cake is disgusting. It doesn't taste like it's got carrots in it. There's a lot of carrots in it. Three cups of carrots are in there. It's good. It doesn't taste like carrot cake to me. <laughs> or maybe you just are an adult now. It's good, right? That is good. It doesn't taste like carrot cake. So everyone, I thought I would conclude this video by saying thank you for watching another Electric Talks vlog and that I love you all very much. Hopefully you guys like these and still watch these. And um, yeah, if you do, thank you for watching them. If you don't, well, oh well. Fun fact about Lucky Charms, by the way, they're naturally gluten-free, so you can eat the entire box. That was sarcasm. Anyways, everyone, I appreciate you all watching another video. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next Electric Talks vlog.